Good morning, Internet. Hey, I'm going to teach you how to find a mentor in 60 seconds. That's right, 60 seconds. What's going on? It's Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. Each day, I give away a t-shirt. This is what you have to do. You have to give me your number going below the video and hit that link. Subscribe to the channel and leave a good comment. The winner of the t-shirt will be the best comment per video. Welcome to Hustlers Kung Fu, where we teach you how to hustle, how to start a business, and to develop generational wealth. That is some lovely stuff. That really is. One of the problems with finding a mentor that many people confuse a mentor, a coach, and a consultant. A mentor is someone who inspires you who can show you the path. This is how you find a mentor in 60 seconds. Earl Nightingale, Lead the Field. Tony Robbins, Unlimited Power. Dr. Joseph E. Murray, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. That's actually less than 60 seconds, and if I had like an hour, I could probably name dozens of them. All of the people that I mentioned have been mentors to me, and I never met them. They inspired me to do stuff. They inspired me to take action. They literally changed my life. A mentor does not have to be someone that you see. Now, in some cases, you may have a mentor in real estate or business, someone who's doing what you want to do, and they're a little further along the road, or they are like way down the road in terms of the development of their business and they can point out some things to you on your journey you're going to meet a mentor when you're on the playing field if you're at home like dry dick danny penniless priscilla ashley allen you're just hoping that your mentor will come find you it's never going to happen so what you have to do is start something be involved in it and then those physical mentors that you can meet up with have lunch with They'll be there, but you must take action. You cannot be sitting at home like, well, no one will mentor me. Man, I just need some help. God, man, I just wish he would like, you know, come down stairs at my father's basement and just hook me up with some serious advice. Come on, it ain't that hard. Well, actually, mentors are very good at seeing talent. And if you are not exhibiting talent, and if you're not out there on the playing field, they're just not going to mentor you. Mentors, coaches, and business consultants can be the same thing to the same person, but there's a certain trajectory. Let's say many of you want someone to meet up with, to look at your business, to discuss things, to help you get to the next level. That is coaching and consulting. I recently had a young person beg for me to mentor him, for me to meet up. Let me take you to lunch. I have a personal chef. I don't eat out a lot. So this whole let me take you to lunch and pick your brain, that's not going to work. So I presented him with an offer because he was trying to extract maximum value out of the deal where he would get hustle camp plus I would mentor him first he was begging that's really not the way to go second he let it out that he had did six figures and he was trying to get million dollar consulting for free that's never going to work so I pitched him an offer I said you can get hustle camp and one hour of consulting for 3500 he was like, no, no, no. Now, the thing is, he has the money, but he does not see the value in sitting down and talking to me. And for those of you who want to know the value, I'm going to have something at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned. When you have someone who is a mentor, that can be physical, that can be reading books. You can do, you can literally go out and this week and get yourself 30 mentors for less than $30 buying penny books on Amazon. Actually, not even going on Amazon, going online and finding the free PDFs. You can get these mentors. Now, let's talk about coaching. A coach is someone 
who may have played the position or is very good at directing people to play the position. There are many people out there who's like, well, if they haven't done it, they can't coach it. That is not true. There are certain people who have these gifts to coach football players, to coach tennis players, to coach to coach gymnasts, to create, to direct people to create million dollar fortunes, even though they've never done it themselves. It is a weird thing, but someone who is a coach doesn't necessarily have to play in the NFL and doesn't necessarily have to build that million or billion dollar business. And this is why that coach has a certain level of knowledge. What that knowledge does is drastically cut your learning curve. Let's say someone comes in as a business consultant and they've never made a million dollars, but because of all of their knowledge and information, they cut your learning curve 10 years. So with what they have and what you're doing, you become a millionaire, even though the coach didn't become a millionaire. It is really strange situation like that because someone helped me like that. He was never quote a millionaire. He helped me become very, very financially well off, even though he himself had never made, never cracked six figures, but he had all of this knowledge and he had all of these untested theories that I tested and a lot of them work. This whole notion of, well, if they ain't doing it, because a lot of you are screwing yourselves because here on YouTube, there are tons of YouTubers who have amazing advice, but because they don't have a lot of views, uh, they don't have substantial wealth assets that they can show, like, like a big house, a Lambo, you know, the Asian woman up in the kitchen, you know, stuff like that. They don't have that. So you don't listen to them, even though their advice is platinum. There's another issue too, what I like to call being in the trenches. Many of you are not going to listen to someone who's not, quote, in the trenches at your level or a few steps above. Because if he's like, you know, a billionaire, you, you're kind of like going to like be inspired, but you're not going to really listen to anything he says. But someone that is like, you, let's say you're an Amazon FBA person, and you're doing like 50000 a year, and then there's someone who's doing a million. You're going to listen to that person. Because they're in the trenches and they know a few things you don't and it doesn't seem that far away from where you are it's more attainable that is also flawed because once again going back to the situation of people can be mentors and coaches and never play the position strange but true and then there's my situation where I'm a consultant not only will I mentor you and coach you I will actually come in with a feasible business plan into your business and move the needle. And that's the thing. There are many people who want me to consult with them under the name of mentorship, and that is just whack. And that's one of the reasons that I'm very selective who I consult with. I am very selective in who I even tell anything to because, I'll give you an example, I was mentoring and coaching and consulting with some YouTubers out of Vid Summit. Now, I gave them some of my YouTube marketing secrets, right? But the thing is, they're either where I'm at or way above and they can reciprocate. If you are looking for something and you can't reciprocate, you need to pay cash. And that's another thing because once again, this dude, he, he went through this, the mouthpiece, let's buy you dinner, all this other stuff. Uh, look, we need to talk. He, he talked to Patty. And I'm just like, dude, you see the value of what I have if you can get it free, but you don't want to pay for it. And I'm talking to you sacrifice because essentially you blew a deal because I gave him uh, the 3500 and it was only good for the day because this is why. I'm going to get way more money from other people versus uh, sitting around waiting on him. And if he does come at me again, the price is going to go up. Because one of the things you have to understand as a coach, as a consultant, is what you bring to the table is time. You can cut someone's, let's say you cut someone's learning curve three years. Three, how much is that worth? Depending upon the business model, 
that is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and or millions whole free and that's what you know if you're a coach you got to understand where you come in uh, I have a client that doing like half a million a year on Amazon then they ran into supply chain problems but we got a new thing going on where they're literally going to make millions of dollars and it's just a situation where you got to understand that when someone can cut your learning curve by years even if they charge you a million dollars it's worth it because you cannot replace time you can't get time back you you can't it's the only non-renewable resource that we have so that three years and three years is a long time because let's go back with my book making money a to z with self storage and auctions that book literally cut anyone's going into the storage auction business learning curve by three to four years and several thousand dollars to figure out something or tens of thousands of dollars and this book was a hundred bucks uh, 19 bucks in the beginning then it went to 59.99 pdf and 99 dollars on amazon i got so many letters like man i made my money back the first buy so value you got to look at value when you're selling your consulting services you have to sell on value if you're not interested in any paid promotions or anything, you can leave this video now because I'm going to talk about something that I might do and it will cost you. I am thinking of putting together these live intensives. Like if you're a member of Hustle Camp, you will get the recorded version of this, which will be a boot camp. Or you might get me on a webinar. But the live intensives, you know, so, so many people want to meet up with me and talk to me and, you know, pick my brain. I'm thinking about putting together in my office, having 10 to 15 people do it per day. I may do it like three days in a row where we just go very, very deep in a subject and you will leave with whatever we're doing, because I'm thinking about doing the marketing thing, I'm thinking about doing the YouTube training, I'm thinking about doing personal development. So, depending upon what kind of intensive we do, it'll be on site, and it'll be like at least eight hours a day, or maybe longer. I mean, we may go hard, we may put some notes down. I'm thinking of charging, 800 to maybe 2,000 for this. Let's just say 1,000 to three. Yeah, one, let's say I'm thinking about charging 1,000 to 5,000 for this. But what I'm gonna do for the first one, and the first one is gonna be a YouTube marketing course. How to start your YouTube channel. And this is for business. This isn't like how to be an influencer. The influencer track be totally different than the marketing track totally different because if you're marketing if you're putting together ads that type of stuff it is a different animal because many youtubers do not use paid traffic for their channel so if you are interested in this live intensive where you will come to Atlanta where you will be in the office then what I'm gonna do is put a link under the video and it's going to be for YouTube marketing training I'll teach you how to use the Google display network and there'll be 1500 bucks it'll be all day and we'll get into the whole ins and outs and things like that so if you're interested go below and give me your number on this list if you're in, if you are interested in attending a one to three day intensive um, here in Atlanta in my office. It'll be capped at 15, 20 people. We will see. And what I'll do since I'm just starting this is 
if only five people show up, I'm going to do it because I need to get in the habit of putting these together. And that's why there's a big break, because let me tell you why YouTube marketing is going to be bananas in the next five years. If you get the skills where you learn how to create videos, that's part of it, and market videos, because this is where many people have a problem. You have the marketers over here who know how to do Facebook ads, Google ads, and stuff like that. Then you have the creators over here who know how to make videos. And then you have me in the middle who knows how to do both. So once I get this course fully fleshed out, it's going to be a five to eight thousand dollar course. So you're getting in at 1500 plus you get to ask me all kind of questions, plus I'll give you like three months of support. So that's what I'm putting out there and we'll see how that goes. Now when will this start? I get, a, I get a lot of people, it's like, it's the holidays, it's this and this and this. Let me tell you why you want to start during the holidays. So many people go to sleep. So many people stop working that you can come in and swoop all kinds of benefits. Because this is the thing. Uh, physical in-store sales, yeah, they take a dip after probably December 21st. Online course sales, that rocks on regardless. When you sell stuff online, your window of time to sell things without a dip is pretty much end of September to around May or June. So you got like 10 months out the year to rock and roll. And depending upon what you sell and how you sell, you may not even have an off period. So just think about that. So once again, go below and I'm gonna put, I wanna be part of the intensive on that link and that way we'll separate the uh, list. So I'm just saying, just letting you know, all right? So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to give me your number and be sure to leave a comment because the best comment gets a free t-shirt.